Olympia is a rather provincial town, but there's lots of art, lots of music, lots mm -hmm. of drama, lots of writers. I mean, it's probably the most diverse uh, area in the state, I think, for its size in terms of the amount of people who are actively working and trying to make a living at it. At least they're following their passion with it. So it's, uh, yeah, I supported my family and actually just sent my last child off to college a couple weeks ago. What I use is uh, recycled printing plates from offset printing plates, which is aluminum, mm -hmm. and uh, cut it out, hammered onto plywood, and then apply a primer. And on this, I'm working with the gold leaf directly on the wet. Um, well, my uh, father was a jazz musician. Oh, really? And so lots of his friends were artists and poets during the uh, 40s, 50s, and 60s, and so this was a good friend of his, and mm -hmm. he gave me that painting when I was small, and it always was in my bedroom, and it's been with me ever since. It's just kind of a, you know, it's a tie to the old school, and, you know, sort of my prehistory. Absolutely. So I can't just surround myself with my own work. <laughs> Are you from this area? Is this your... No, I actually, um, well, I went to uh, high school, in junior high school in Portland, Vancouver area. But since my dad was a musician, we traveled a lot. So I actually went to 13 schools when I grew up. And it wasn't just about every state of the Union. So you know, I just ended up here. And I was glad to end up someplace. It, it, it's a politician's town. It's a professional town. You know, There wasn't much in the way of aesthetics or cultural. When people came here as college students, and then Evergreen was a real hub for alternative education and alternative lifestyles and the people that were attached to that, so... Is it still that way at Evergreen? Yeah, yeah. yeah I think so, yeah. Um, but, and a lot of people who came here as, because of the school um, ended up staying because of the geography, the, you know, the proximity to the ocean, salt water, small town atmosphere, feeling re reasonably safe. You know, I just try, I, I start out working by just Basically, an idea of the size I want to work with, and then I just assemble the materials and just wing it, improvise my way through it. I mean, it's rare that I pre-sketch or pre-draw or pre-conceive anything I do. I just, uh, just kind of let the emotions of the moment and the day just kind of let it unfold. And it may unfold for a month or two or three, but you know, that's really the starting point. So. Where do most people, I mean, this is a separate subject about art, but as far as like people working here, the, uh -huh. the, the, not the artist type, but are, is it mostly government or is there another? Oh, well, <clears throat> the brewery used to be the, main, the big thing here in Olympia, the Olympia Brewery, Olympia Beer, you know, that was in Tumwater and that was just, you know, two miles away from here. So that, that used to be the big employer. Um, for years during, I think, the 40s and the 50s. Um, that's been since taken over by Miller Beer Company in the last year. And, um, but, I mean, they have like maybe 300 people that work there. I think probably the hospitals, mm, professional organizations, lobbying groups, things of that nature. A lot of people retire here or within the area. Um, I wonder why. Because it does rain know. a lot up here, right? I mean, yeah. We... yeah I, don't, I don't really know. I'm, I mean, I'm not sure really what all the people do who do live here. Um, I mean, there seem to be, it, there's a real cross section. I mean, I think of, in terms of uh, monetary groups. I mean, there's wealthy, there's middle class, there's lower middle class, there's a lot of, uh, you know, there's certainly a huge, like, Vietnamese community and Native American community, you know, the surrounding reservations, and, mm -hmm. uh, but it's a real transitory thing. I mean, it seems like people come and go. I mean, they may be here for a few years, they'll move off to the big city, and maybe they'll come back here. You know, so it's um, that's a good question. I never really thought about what what do all these people do. I mean, when I'm going to a grocery store, where do all these people come from? You know. So uh, does the rain? I have to ask you this. Does the rain get to you? Yeah. Yeah, it does. What do you do when that happens? I take a plane out of here. <laughs> Mexico, Try maybe? to go someplace else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that, you know, I mean, that, that's more of kind of wishful thinking. I mean, it, it, 
I've been able to do that more in the last five years, but you know, prior to that, you just live with it. You know, you just um, try to create your comfort zone, whether it's at home or at work or or whatever, and you know, make sure you got lots of firewood together. Um, and uh, you watch a lot of movies. You read a lot of books. You'll see a, you know, a huge amount of places that serve coffee here. I think there's more coffee places in a six block area than anywhere in the world, you know, because it's almost like coffee and reading and, you know, it's all kind of synonymous with people who are indoors for so much time, you know, and when, when the weather's good, everybody's out and everybody's playing in it and enjoying it. They're on their boats, you know, I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's obviously a huge boating area and, uh, you know, people enjoy that. You know, in, in the winter months, um, for myself, what I do is head to the mountains in the snow and ski and try to spend time in the environment that exists rather than wishing it, it wasn't here. One thing about a lot of people who live here is that there's a, a strong attachment, appreciation, respect, and use of the outdoors. I mean, people are not real inside people. I mean, most of the people I know. People climb mountains, people hike a lot, people kayak a lot. Um, they go out to the ocean, which is only an hour and a half away. There's a lot of surfing. Um, I mean, as far as the coast north of California, Washington and out here at Ocean Shores has probably got the most surfers. And the Olympic Peninsula has got the hiking, it's got the mountains, it's got the rainforest, it's got the oceans. Um, so I'm going to head up that way uh, Monday. I'm going to take the ferry to Victoria. Oh, great. And then I'm going to go to another island called Salt Spring Island. No, Are you familiar know. with that? No. Nobody's heard of it. It's it, supposed to be one of the great little art towns oh, really? in North America. Is yeah. it in the, on the Canadian side? Yep. It's okay. can, yeah, that's probably why. Right? Yeah. Do people go up there often? No, I don't think so. No. It's about a five-hour drive from here. What about oh, like the minutes. medium price on a house in How this town? How much is it? Yeah. What'd you say? Um, for instance, well, let's... on the east side, yeah. you could probably find a house for mm, 80, 80 to 120000 you get up on the west side, you're going to be more up around probably 150,000. You get out in Cooper Point up to probably average around 400, 500,000, maybe enough. And all the old houses up by the Capitol, those are probably around two to 300,000. You know, there might be some that are, certainly some that are less. You know, it's like any neighborhood, there's always a sprinkle and a mix, you know, and, and that's Kind of it. And then it, but it's only like if you go west Olympia, within two miles you're you're out in the country. Where do you live? I live 12 miles out of town, up in the mountains on a lake. And so I've been out there for 25 years. So I live on six acres. So I got the best of both worlds.